Welcome to the Dagestan. <laughs> Our trip started with the problems on the road. We got stuck and couldn't get out of the pit, so our delivery guy tried to get us out and even he brought us food so we could eat while he was helping us. Some people also stopped to help. But in the end we had to call a special car to get us out and the first night we spent next to the Caspian Sea Coast in an incredibly cozy cottage. And this is, by the way, the road where we got stuck yesterday. Our first stop in the morning was the sand dunes that you can see here, but oops, the snow. So guys, this is the middle of the marsh and it wasn't the best idea to come to Dagestan because a few days ago there was a huge snowfall and now the most famous attraction here, like we can't see that basically because of the snow. That's the fail. <laughs> <laughs> Later we came to the local zoo that located next to the restaurant where we were planning to eat. Proof <laughs> that we in Russia. The bear. Honestly, it's quite sad to see because like there is almost no space. Here at least there is some space, but where the bear and the tigers, like no space at all. I also want to add here that I stopped going to the Moscow Zoo and to the zoos in other countries because I really believe that animals shouldn't live behind the cage and it's really sad to see it. By the way, on the territory of this restaurant, they grow actually fish and then cook it, so everything was so fresh and super delicious. So actually it's quite sad now, we wanted to see the canyon that on the top of the mountain but unfortunately because in during the last few days it was a huge snowfall here in Dagestan and actually even the locals didn't expect that and now there was something like that it's really difficult to get there and unfortunately also because of the clouds we will see nothing the people who drive there they said they went to the top and they saw nothing so that's why i decided to go down make a short stop here to see the view but yeah actually in march in the middle of march the weather should be a little bit different like there shouldn't be so much snow like now so that's the reason to return to Dagestan again. Salam alaikum, my Turkey, Brazil, and Sosti. Добро пожаловать на Арек и Сулак. Добро пожаловать наши гости приняли Сулак в Дагестан. Мы здесь сейчас и кушаем, то и ты не лезь куда своим дел. Приезжайте. Welcome to the Dagestan. By the way, now we drive through the mountain by this tunnel and this tunnel is the biggest here in Russia, the longest one and it was opened just around 8 years ago and for this region it's brought like so many opportunities, so many. <laughs>
Мне вот больше всего нравится вот там, вот, то, что ну, оно вот уже... По кругу его так передает, теперь да. Hello, my friends. Subscribe at my channel. The next night was spent in the house of the local who is the friend of one of the members of the group and here's by the way he's waiting, it was super interesting to watch. One of the guys who organized this trip, he has a friend here and we stayed in his house. Actually, it's like guest house. Oh my God, the, it was amazing. He's super interesting person. We talk, I think, a um, few hours at night and he was saying about life here. Uh, unforgettable experience. It was super interesting to listen to him. And also he seems like super interesting and great person. Oh my God, I had like, I can't say I had stereotypes about uh, Dagestan, but usually in Moscow we have. Uh, <laughs> it, like, all the stereotypes are broken. The people here are so amazing, they're so helpful. And I truly advise you to stay in this apartment, like in this house. It, he also cooked for us local food, and like, I have no words. Unforgettable experience. In the morning, we took a short walk around the village where we spent the night, and worth noting that this is completely different Russia and so atmospheric to walk there. And then we went to ride the horses. <laughs> <laughs> it was an amazing experience and I'm attaching the link to the Instagram of this guy so if you would like to try this when you'll be in Dagestan it's like it's incredible <laughs> really I have so many emotions it's super cool absolutely advice <laughs> After the walk, the owner of the house cooked us an apricot porridge with the local seed bridge. It was delicious but kind of really sweet. <laughs> and of course, we were given a masterclass in Liz Ginka. <laughs> oh my god, look at this, it's amazing by the way, the house that we were living, it's there, incredible. <laughs> And the most amazing thing about Dagestan, it's even not this incredible nature, but the people. And even everybody who visited this place, they're saying that the worst thing that can happen to you in Dagestan, it's the locals who take you to the home, give you food, give you a space to, uh, for, for the night, and then fish you good luck in the morning. And I agree with that.
the guys just told us a story that in the past a lot of people a lot of terrorists were against that Dagestan people uh, were going to work to the police to the military and they just were killing people who went there and there was a policeman uh, it's a difficult name so I forgot but he went with his family like not as a working day but just went uh, to eat meat in the forest like to the natural place and there were terrorists they killed his brother immediately they killed the, uh, his family and then they found out his ID and they started making a video and they said okay now tell to people that they're not going to work to the police station and he said brothers don't be afraid of anything go to work as a policeman he was killed and few years later the people found out this video and now he is like a local hero not just local all around the caucasus and he has like even a moment uh, monument he has uh, the street was named after him so everybody is so proud of him Okay, Caucasus is just something from another planet. You know that I'm actually visited four regions of it uh, on November and now another one. And the only one that's left is Chechnya and I hope this year I can visit it as well. We also came to visit the first cafe in the mountains of Dagestan where I tried super delicious coffee, really not worse than Italian one. <laughs> There is also one coffee with ubrich. It's something sweet. I even it's slightly remind chocolate, but really different. So there is coffee with this one. I tried this, super sweet. So I will take something else. But yeah, it's so interesting. After the coffee, it was time to say see you to our local friend at whose house we spend the night and go to the last place of our trip. It was impossible not to stop here just in the middle of the road. I want to return to Dagestan. I have no words really. I think I will return in summer. Maybe not this one, but the next one I will try. And I truly advise you, I think, from the old regions of Caucasus, that's the region I want to, not just Caucasus, Russia, that's the region I want to visit the most again. Camera just doesn't show this like it's something from another world. It's like the dinosaurs world. Really, everybody like saying just they stop recording videos, taking pictures because it's just impossible to transfer this beauty. One of the best places I've ever been in my life.
Бля! And the best thing about this that we first time since our trip we saw another tourists and on our way back so that's amazing that we've been there alone and few locals but it's okay so i think since the middle of april may summer there are gonna be like so many people because now because of the pandemic the Dagestan became just super famous for russians Hey friends, I'm raised in Moscow and I just want to say a small conclusion about this trip. It was amazing. I truly advise you to visit Dagestan. I've been there just two days. I advise you to come for five days at least to see like most attractions. We've also been a little bit unlucky because of the snow. We haven't seen the sand canyon and another canyon in the mountains. It's a reason to return and the region is just something from another world. The nature, this beauty, food, people, everything is amazing. Don't have any stereotypes. I felt they're pretty safe, so I truly advise you to visit it. And thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoy it. And I hope to see you in the comments or the next videos of mine.